Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. They put their lives on the line in foreign war zones, conducted secret missions to collect valuable intelligence and made enormous sacrifices for their country only to see their former colleagues disrespected by President Donald Trump. Now, driven by the president's conduct, they're taking matters into their own hands and gearing up for a different challenge, running for Congress as Democrats. Fed up with what they see as Trump's disdain and distrust of the intelligence community and his refusal to embrace fully the conclusion that Russia interfered in the 2016 election an unusually large number of former intelligence officers and operatives are campaigning for office as Democrats in this fall's midterm elections, according to experts. For many like Abigail Spanberger in Virginia's Richmond Area 7th Congressional District and Alyssa Slotkin in Michigan's Lansing Area 8th Congressional District it's a matter of restoring respect for the agencies they gave so much of themselves to. All agree that their decision to run began with the current Commander-in-Chief. It's incredibly disappointing, Spanberger, who served as a CIA officer in the US and abroad for eight years before moving back to Virginia in 2014, told NBC News. To have a president who doesn't see your work as service to the nation, work that is meant to help him, it's hard to see. Slotkin, who was a Middle East analyst for the CIA, did three tours in Iraq, and worked in the State and Defense Departments in the George W. Bush and Barack Obama administrations, said she's been dismayed that the sacrifice she and her former colleagues made would be disregarded. It's rattled me and everyone I know in the community, she told NBC News. It's been a big surprise to me that the commander-in-chief would be targeting his own intelligence community. These are people who come in every day and make sacrifice and work to keep our country safe. Gina Ortiz Jones, a former Air Force intelligence officer and Defense Intelligence Agency employee who is running in Texas's 23rd Congressional District in the southwestern portion of the state, described the effect that Trump's insults of the intelligence community had on her. Frankly, there's nothing more motivating, she said. Others ran but lost in Democratic primaries earlier this year, including Jeff Beals, a former CIA officer, and Patrick Ryan, a former Army intelligence officer, who both competed in New York's 19th Congressional District primary.